Okay, I think I understand how Creative Commons works. Some rights reserved means licenses vary, and that we always have to give credit to the original creator. We can check the license if we're confused. But I am confused. The law says works are copyrighted automatically the moment they are made. I understand some people are using Creative Commons, but where am I going to go to find images that I can use? Great question. There's the old difficult way, or if you want to save time, there's Google's new Creative Commons search option. Using their advanced image search feature is quite simple and very helpful. Begin, and this is very important due to potential glitches, by choosing your Firefox browser. Select Google's advanced image search and, well, let me show you the process and some tips and tricks in action. On Firefox, choose Google Images and open Advanced Image Search. The Usage Rights option at the bottom of the page describes several of the more common Creative Commons options. For non-commercial purposes, try Labeled for Reuse or Labeled for Reuse with Modification and enter your search term in the top box. You could limit the search by using an exact phrase search or by excluding certain words using the other boxes provided. For this demonstration, I chose flower, though I think I would prefer one of the related searches suggested, and will choose rose. Note, these photos are all labeled for reuse, but return pictures of Kevin Rose, the Rose Bowl, and other unassorted roses. I could use another one of Google's suggestions, red rose, and get a much more focused selection of images. We can also use the Find Similar Images option when it is available to further narrow and organize images, but it may not always focus on the aspect we hope to locate. This is an important opportunity for us to open the Show Options tab and use some of the other available tools. How about Blue Roses? Using the Show Options tab and the specific color selector, we can choose any color we want, whether blue or pink. or yellow, or peach. These tools are universal. A search for cars returns another varied assortment of images. Using Find Similar Images option can sometimes be very helpful and fun. Checking related searches such as sports cars can often lead to success. But if we want red sports cars, the Show Options tab will be helpful. When selecting specific colors, black and white images, or other options, the more photos of an object users have shared in the Creative Commons databases, and the more specific your search term, the closer these searches will resemble a TV ad you may remember. It is important to point out that these searches have been for Creative Commons images licensed for reuse and not for the elusive copyright-free images of our dreams. Before using an image, even after selecting labeled for reuse, it is important that we verify the license and give credit to the creator as requested. We check this by opening the image and finding the copyright or license information. The icons tell most of the story, but for a thorough description we can open the license. This image is free to share and alter for non-commercial uses as long as it is attributed to the creator. The code is meant to be pasted into any website using the image to assure proper attribution. The URL is usually acceptable attribution for non-web reuse unless otherwise indicated. Many users incorrectly attribute works after selecting see full size image. The URL in this case describes the search and not the source. The source is identified on the Google frame and is also accessible by removing the frame. Returning for one last moment to our search for roses, note that we could narrow to black and white images, line drawings, clip art, and even images with faces. Choosing line drawings, we will review licensing and potential usage issues on a couple of images. Note that the first is identified as being a tracing or an adaptation of another image. This artist allows reuse. But to protect our usage, we should verify the license on the original image which is easy to do because it was correctly attributed or cited by the secondary user. But there is a problem. The photographer requested that all users share alike and allowed alteration. The secondary user used a no derivative license. This is an obvious violation of the share alike request, one of the failures of the Creative Commons system. 
I would encourage users to honor the most restrictive of the licenses used on any image. I hope this has given you some tools to use in searching for Creative Commons images and understanding that they are not copyright free and some insight regarding proper citation. Good luck with your image search. Thank you for watching. Please check with your local librarian for more in-depth explanation or instruction and check back here for more videos in this series.